Christy Shin, quit like a millionaire, no gimmicks, luck, or trust fund required. Welcome to a life-changing journey exploring the secrets of financial independence. In the book, Quit Like a Millionaire, No Gimmicks, Luck, or Trust Fund Required by Christy Shin, you will uncover vital topics such as the importance of following the math to attain your dreams, the negative impact of consumer debt, the benefits of index investing, and debunking the myth of homeownership as the ultimate investment. This easy-to-follow guide provides valuable insights that give you the power to take control of your finances and ultimately pave the way to your dream retirement. So, buckle up and get ready to dive into an ocean of financial knowledge. Following your heart may not be the best choice. In her book, Christy emphasizes that following one's passion may not always lead to the best outcome. The math behind pursuing a major, such as engineering or accounting, that will guarantee a higher income, rather than a passion like creative writing, will offer a more secure financial future. While dreams are worth pursuing, it's important to consider the financial resources they require. Christie, an author herself, followed this advice when selecting her major and ended up with a fulfilling career as a writer after securing a well-paying job in engineering. The Chinese Attitude Toward Saving and Debt Chinese citizens save 38% of their income on average, which is significantly higher compared to Americans and Japanese. The absence of credit channels and endemic corruption in China has compelled its citizens to choose between taking on onerous personal debts and saving up until they could buy something outright. This culture has made it customary for Chinese people to pay their personal debts during the new year, or risk being cursed with 12 months of misfortune. However, this frugal attitude towards debt is a pretty good attitude to adopt worldwide, especially with the application of the Rule of 72, an insight first formulated by a 15th-century Italian mathematician named Luca Pasiali. The rule shows that the longer the investment period, the better the returns. This makes it a favorable option for investors. But, for debtors, it is best to avoid unnecessary debts and pay off existing ones to stay debt-free. Slaying the Debt Vampire Debt is like a vampire, draining you of your finances and leaving you trapped in an endless cycle of payments. To achieve financial freedom, you must start by tackling consumer debt with high interest rates. Cut your expenses and prioritize paying off loans from the highest interest rate to the lowest. Refinance your loans, but be cautious of falling back into debt traps. Gaining financial independence with debt is like running a marathon with a backpack full of bricks, you won't get far. Slashing your debts will pave the way towards a brighter financial future. Luxury spending and happiness. Splurging on luxury items can give you a neural high, much like cocaine, but it may not bring you lasting pleasure. The brain constantly increases its expectation levels, which means people require larger amounts of cocaine or more expensive material possessions to feel satisfied. However, not all spending is created equal. Research shows that experiences such as learning new skills or traveling bring longer-lasting happiness than buying material possessions. In summary, understanding the link between luxury spending and happiness is critical in ensuring lasting satisfaction from the money you spend. The Hidden Costs of Buying a House Learn why buying a house may not guarantee a good investment, as this summary uncovers the hidden costs that come with it. Many people believe buying a house is a smart investment, and they are often willing to borrow money for it. However, purchasing a home can come with hidden costs that may not make it a wise investment after all. The average American family stays in their home for nine years, expecting the property's value to increase. Unfortunately, hidden fees and expenses often arise. For example, to buy the property, a title search from the land registry office is necessary, along with a title recording fee and a lawyer's payment, totaling $2,150. Additionally, insurance fees, property taxes, and maintenance costs can sum up to $112,500 over nine years. To sell the property, there are expenses such as a commission of 6% of the final sale price, a land transfer tax of 1.2%, and another lawyer's pay, 
totaling $61,821. Bringing these hidden costs to $175,571, which amounts to 51% of the initial profit gained, homeowners need to be cautious. More so, families often pay a 10% down payment in cash and borrow the rest from their bank, incurring an interest of $162,033 over nine years, which is 98% of the sale price. The summary sheds light on hidden expenses when buying a house, which can potentially make any profit unattainable. Property owners must be cautious and prioritize accruing knowledge before their investments. The Rule of 150 a tool for homeownership decision. The article showcases the relevance of the Rule of 150, a tool that calculates the true cost of owning a house by considering additional ownership costs that are often overlooked. By multiplying the monthly mortgage payment by 150%, one can determine if homeownership is a financially sound choice. The tool is particularly helpful when deciding to buy or rent a property, especially in expensive cities like Toronto. Are you struggling to decide whether homeownership is the right option for you? The rule of 150 might be the solution you need. While realtors may present buying a house over renting an apartment as the more practical choice, the cost of homeownership is often more complicated than it seems. The rule of 150 factors in additional expenses like maintenance and insurance that are not immediately apparent in the process. So how does the rule of 150 work? In the first nine years of a 30-year mortgage, only half of the monthly payments go towards the actual loan. The other half is spent on interest fees. Moreover, the cost of upkeep and insurance during the first nine years is roughly equivalent to the interest expense of the mortgage. By multiplying the monthly mortgage payment by 150%, you can obtain the actual monthly cost of owning a home. If the sum is lower than your rent, buying may be a sensible choice, otherwise, renting may be the wiser option. The rule of 150 can be particularly useful in expensive cities such as Toronto, where housing prices have skyrocketed. Take Christie, for example. She realized through the rule of 150 that owning a house in such a city was not feasible for her and her financial goals. With that realization, she decided to think outside the box and put her money towards other endeavors. In conclusion, the Rule of 150 offers an efficient tool to calculate the real cost of owning a home and to make more informed decisions when it comes to renting or buying. Its formulaic approach helps to avoid costly mistakes in homeownership and enables a clearer understanding of the financial implications of such a crucial life decision. Index Investing Made Simple Discover the straightforward world of index investing, a less risky approach to investing. That doesn't require fancy algorithms. Investing in an index is like betting on the casino rather than individual horses. The premise is that an index is a list of companies ranked by market capitalization. Thus, when you invest in an index, you bet on every company listed. Index investing is also good for your wallet, as the simplicity of the concept means there's no need to pay for a hands-on fund manager. A typical index fund charges fees of just 0.04%, 25 times lower than what you'd pay for an actively managed fund. The sales commission? Zero dollars. It is no surprise that major indexes, such as the S&P 500, work based on this principle. Early retirement, it's not just for the rich. You can retire early by increasing your savings rate. Your retirement age depends on how much you save, not how much you earn. By cutting your expenses and upping your saving rate, you can retire even 11 years ahead of schedule. The book excerpt challenges the belief that early retirement is only possible for people earning high salaries. It emphasizes that your retirement age is not dependent on how much you earn but how much you save. By increasing your savings rate, you can retire much earlier than you would have thought, even if you're on a modest income. The author explains that normal retirement age is 65 because most people save 5 to 10% of their salaries and have investment portfolios yielding an average of 6 to 7% annually. If you're making $40,000 a year and spending $30,000, 
you already have a healthy savings rate of 25%, which is enough to retire early. Increasing your savings rate cuts your living expenses and puts more money into your portfolio. Even a small increase in your savings rate can have a significant impact on your retirement age. For instance, boosting your savings rate from 10 to 15% can cut 5 years off your retirement age. The book uses the example of a fictional couple named Paul and Jillian to illustrate how ordinary people can achieve early retirement by increasing their savings rate. By living frugally, they were able to save $12,724.40 annually, which would translate into a million dollars in 30 years at a 6% interest rate. That's enough for them to retire at 54, 11 years ahead of schedule. In conclusion, early retirement is not just a pipe dream for the wealthy. Through a combination of frugal living and a high savings rate, anyone can achieve this goal. Tricks to Achieve Financial Independence A landmark study found that your portfolio is self-sustaining when your annual living expenses are no greater than 4% of its total value. Multiply your annual expenses by 25 to determine your target portfolio. Alternative strategies like partial financial independence and geographic arbitrage offer flexibility and require smaller portfolios. For instance, earning income in a country with a strong currency and retiring in a country with a weaker currency is an excellent idea. You have reached the end of our journey and now you have the knowledge and tools to take control of your financial destiny. By understanding the true cost of following your heart, taming the debt vampire, making wise investments, questioning conventional wisdom about homeownership, and creatively utilizing the opportunities life offers, you can achieve financial independence. Life is full of choices, so let the wisdom acquired from Quit Like a Millionaire help you make financially sound decisions that lead to a fulfilling and abundant future. Remember, the key lies in your hands, use it wisely to unlock the life you've always dreamed of living.